Hello, this is Dr. Drew Hall with Upper Cervical Healthcare of Los Angeles and Carson. Uh, today, what we want to talk about is Arnold Chiari malformation. Uh, first, before we get into it, we'll talk about what is Arnold, Arnold Chiari malformation. Basically, what a Chiari malformation is, is there are certain structures in the back part of the brain. Uh, it's called the cerebellum. And then there's another structure called cerebellar tonsils. And this particular structure should be in what they call the cranial vault. Yeah. So inside the cranium, it should be should not be extending down through the hole in the in the bottom of the head called the foramen magnum. But in a Chiari malformation, basically what's happening is there those structures that should be in the cranial vault are actually be extruded or coming down through the hole in the foramen magnum. Now, there's many reasons that this can happen. Uh, there are some structural malformations that can take place where the back part of the cranium is smaller than it should be, so there's a crowding out um, where the cerebellum should fit, and that has a, a pushing down effect on the cerebellum. And then there is what they call type 1 chiari malformation, which in the upper cervical chiropractic world, uh, we feel is coming from trauma. So one thing that can happen when someone has an upper neck trauma is the atlas, which is the top vertebra in the neck. There's two joints here and the head fits in those two joints and the head weighs 10 to 12 pounds. And when someone has a severe trauma, like a whiplash trauma or a, or a car accident, and this atlas, the top vertebra in the neck, dislodges and locks out of position, it affects the brainstem, which sits here, and the brainstem is the seat of control for a lot of the function of the body that we don't aren't consciously thinking about. One of the things it controls is postural muscle tone. So people have good posture, they generally don't think about it. It's just, it's a normal physio physiological thing when the body's working the way it's supposed to. Now, when someone has a neck injury and there's irritation on the cord and it's affecting the postural center, one of the things that happens is the strap muscles here are called the scalenes go into spasm. And instead of the side of the neck having a curve like this, it straightens. When you lose the cervical curve in the neck, that naturally biomechanically causes a tensile stress in the cord. And it, the pulling down of the spinal cord can bring those structures that I was talking about called cerebellar tonsils, which are supposed to be in the cranial vault, can actually pull them down through the frame and magnum. So one approach that can help type one chari malformation is seeing an upper cervical chiropractor. In our office, we do the Blair technique, which is focused on C1 and C2 and the relationship that they have to the joints and the central nervous system. Again, when someone gets an accident, there can be a structural misalignment at the floor of the skull. And our goal in our office is to find out exactly what direction that top vertebra is locked out of position, and then um, determine through the x-rays how the joints are built, how the vertebra is out of position, how to deliver a force into that atlas to get it back under the body's natural biomechanical range, which removes the pressure off the cord, which allows the postural center in the brainstem to function better, which restores normal tone to the cervical musculature and actually the whole spine, and that neck that's straight if it's done properly over time, the body naturally will start to bring the curve back to how it should be. The tensile stress that's pulling down on the spinal cord and creating uh, the, the cerebellar tonsils to be extruded down for, through the frame of magnum. As that tensile stress is removed off the cord, uh, the cerebellar tonsils will ascend back into the cranial vault. And of course, it's not 100% of all the cases, but if you are suffering from Chiari malformation, um, and it's something that's happened through life, you didn't have it from birth, uh, it is well worth your time to see an upper cervical chiropractor to see A, if you have an upper cervical misalignment, and B, uh, if you can be helped with, with the procedure. So uh, we have two offices, one's in Carson, California, it's a South Bay uh, area near Torrance, and our second office is up in uh, the LA, Los Angeles area in Koreatown, if you're outside the Los Angeles Basin, uh, please give us a call. Our number is 213-399-7772, and we can find you a qualified upper cervical chiropractor in your locale that can help you with your chari malformation.
So hope this video was of some value to those of you suffering with all the different symptoms that come along with Chiari, which aren't much fun. And uh, there are other options out there other than cutting the back part of the skull and the back part of C1 uh, to relieve the compression and pressure on the uh, spinal cord and brain stem. So look into uh, some of the natural options that are out there, one of them being Blair Upper Cervical Chiropractic Care. So thanks for listening.